welcome to Connor Tots. I'm going to show you how to crop out a person so that way you can put a background such as Mr. Obama. You can put a space background behind him like this one right here and it'll look realistic. I'm going to show you two options. I like this first option better because it gives you better results. So first what you want to do is make this a layer not a background. Add a uh, layer mask and then go to your brush tool, you can also get it by pressing B. Brush should be 70% for hardness. And make sure your black is your foreground. So you can zoom in by pressing Command Plus if you're on the Mac, I believe it's Control Plus if you're on the PC. Okay. So now you can just click and drag, and you will notice that you have um, transparent checkerboard. Now that means that if you were to put something behind it that you would then see that uh, the background right at the checkerboard area. So what you want to do is you want to make it so that way you see the checkerboard everywhere but Mr. Obama so that way then you can have it look like he's in outer space. Okay, so back to the brush tool. So this is the first option. It does take longer than the second option I'm going to show you, but again, it gives you much better results, and I'll show you why in a second. Okay, so clean all that up. Okay, good. And so I can't get all of all around them because it'll just take too long but you get the point I'll zoom in over here to show you uh, what you can do you can use the brackets tool the left bracket makes the brush smaller and the right bracket sorry makes it bigger so just the closer you get, you might want to get it sm uh, the brush smaller. And say, whoops, I did that. You can do Command Z or Control Z to undo, but say you did all this hard work and then all of a sudden, whoops, then you'd undo, but you'd undo all the work that you just did. So what you do is you press the X tool and Look at that, it restores his head. Okay. And then press X again and you can go back, zoom in, and fix his head so that way it looks like it's going to look realistic. Okay. Oops. Okay, and then that'll do it. That looks good. And obviously if this was for something like a client, then I would do a much better job. But this is just for demonstration, so I'm not putting in 100% effort. Alright, so now let us, uh, let's open Mr. Obama again. Oh, I have this open, so let me just save this real quick. And then I will open, oops, not that. This one. Okay, that way I can compare them after. 
Okay, this, this is the second option. Now what you want to do is you want to double click again, make sure that this is a layer, and use your magic wand tool. You can press the W key to get it. And now you can click on an area and you will notice it will take that selected area. Now there is one problem with this tool, and I'll show you in a second. You can press shift to add more. Okay. And here's the problem I was, I'm going to show you. Since this background that I selected is similar to this area, it selected this area. Now if I were to press delete, you'd see those transparent boxes I was talking about. And so you can fix that. You can control Z, command D, and that'll deselect it. And what you can do is you can change the tolerance lower to say 10. Select that area and now it's all set. However, look what it does. It leaves blue area around Mr. Obama. So, like I said, I don't like this option. It just doesn't give good results like the other one does. So, if we were to compare, that's the magic wand tool. Okay, magic wand. And this one is... Uh, here we go. This one is the brush. Brush and magic wand. Okay, here's the difference. This one you can change the edges and make it look nice and smooth. This one you can't, but you what you can do is you can combine the two. You can do that, and then what you can do is you can make this. You can add a mask and use the paintbrush tool and clean all that up. Okay, this was a Connor Tuts tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you share this tutorial with others. Thanks for watching.